If you'd like to increase your sales, not by a little, but by a lot, and if you'd like to do it without being pushy, without being annoying, without being hypey, without uh, having a ton of objections and resistance from your prospects, pay close attention to today's video because I'm gonna tell you one little secret that will absolutely help you to increase your sales that I call the Dirty Magazine Marketing Secret. And despite the name, I promise today's video will be rated PG. Yes, it's perfectly innocent. All right, so first of all, if you've never attended one of my videos before, let me take a quick second to introduce myself. My name is Tyson Zahner. I call these little videos gems from the gym as I give you little business gems to help you in your business journey to generate more leads and sales. As I'm finishing up my workout, uh, I'm coming home from the fitness gym for the day, which would explain my gym attire. All right, so like I said, in today's video, we're gonna be helping you to in increase your sales. But before I tell you what that dirty magazine marketing secret is that'll help you to do it, I want you to take a second. I want you to imagine a couple of things. I want you to imagine that a year from now, after you've, after you've started implementing this strategy, I want you to imagine that uh, your competitors are coming to you and saying, what is your secret? What are you doing differently that's allowing you to crush us? What is your secret? I want you to imagine that you go to the bank and your deposits have grown so big that the teller can't hold her, uh, her curiosity anymore. And she finally just says, what in the world do you do for a living? What do you do for a living? I want you to imagine that your friends and your family uh, are showing so much respect for you, for, the, for your ability to provide. I want, you, I want you to imagine that all the naysayers who said, oh, he'll never create success, are now kicking themselves forever doubting you. Why did I do that? All because you implemented this one little secret. Have you figured out what the secret is? I just used it as an example with those four imagine this scenarios. The secret is painting a new reality, or at least that's what I call it. And the reason I call this the dirty magazine marketing secret is this. There is a reason why there are no men's fantasy magazines called wives in sweatpants and sneakers, okay? Oh no, you didn't. I love my wife and I love it when she wears sweatpants and sneakers, but the truth is we it is human nature for us to be drawn to something new, something fascinating, something exciting, something we've never experienced before. And so when you can paint a new reality for your prospects of how their life is going to be different, you are going to absolutely be able to increase your sales. And by the way, I don't have time to in this video to go into all of the specific details of exactly how you do that and how you create those messages, but I touch on that a little bit in my free web class. Uh, which you can attend if you'd like to click the link that you see somewhere on or around this video. It's about a 60 minute web class. Just click that, put in your name and email address and feel free to, uh, to register to attend. But also for everybody who attends that web class, I have what I call a free Facebook um, advertising template or it's a free Facebook lead generation template. And what it, what it does is it walks you through uh, a very simple formula that I have used over and over with my messaging that really helps to trigger people's desire with the right types of messages. I'm happy to give that to you for free if you register and actually attend that free web class. So let me just go ahead and give you a quick example of this in case you're not quite clear on what I'm talking about. Um, and then you can register for the free web class. So one of my businesses, my, I have a multitude of businesses, but one of them is that I'm a wedding photographer. In addition to the fact that I've created success in network marketing, I've been a three-time top earner in one of my companies. I do affiliate marketing. I uh, have a coaching and training business. I speak on stages around the country. But another one of my businesses is my wedding photography business. Now, I want you to imagine, as an example of doing this painting a new reality thing, here's two different ways that I could try to sell my wedding photography services. You tell me which one you think would work better and is more compelling. Option number one, I could say, you know, we use the highest quality cameras and we have uh, 30 plus megapixel sensors in our cameras and they have digit five plus image processing. Oh, and don't forget our flashes have uh, 2.4 gigahertz radio transmission and yada, 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 right? That's option one. Here's option two. I could come out and I could say, you know, I want you to imagine how green with envy your girlfriends are gonna be when they see your wedding album for the first time. And I want you to imagine the pride you're gonna feel when they say things like, oh my God, who did your pictures? The colors are so rich and so beautiful and so saturated and oh my God, I can't believe all of those uh, incredibly candid moments he captured. How did you get a photographer who captured so many natural, wonderful moments? And imagine the pride you're gonna feel when one day your kids and your grandkids express their gratitude for this amazing family heirloom that you've passed down because you invested one time into your wedding photography. Now, which one of those two do you think would do a better job at selling my wedding photography? Duh, option two, it's not even a contest, right? Sign me up. So the question is why are so many business owners focusing on 
ingredients in their product and ground floor opportunities and how many ways the comp plan pays out. Nobody cares about that stuff. Okay, hold on. Let me, uh, let me qu qualify that statement. Nobody cares about that stuff until you've painted a new reality and triggered their desire for what it is you have to offer first. So here's the point, guys. What you have to do is, and, and by the way, you can't just go out and paint this new reality with anybody and everybody. Your goal is not to find the whole world and get them to, uh, to buy your product. The goal, and I'll use my wedding example again uh, just to drive this point home. If I tried to tell that, that wedding album story to a girl who is already married or somebody who's not in the market to get married right now, it's not going to do me a whole lot of good. You're barking up the wrong tree, mister. I'm not looking for everybody. I'm looking for people who would be looking for what I have to offer. And that's the other secret or the other piece to this puzzle, which will make it work and really help you to increase your sales. So if you can simply go out there and find the people who are going to be most likely to buy, and then you can paint a new reality. And by the way, painting a new reality can be positive or negative. So you could paint a positive reality like I did with that wedding, uh, uh, the wedding album example. But let's say you sold insurance, life insurance. You could paint a negative reality of, I want you to imagine what your family would experience and all they would have to go through if they didn't have this money. Or if you're an attorney trying to sell estate planning or whatever. Imagine what your family would have to go through with probate court and so forth if you didn't have a trust and you didn't have a will. You can paint a negative reality to trigger their emotion as well. But the point, the big key here is you have to find the people who are going to be most likely to buy what it is you have to offer. On the webinar, by the way, I show you exactly who those people are. Then you have to trigger their desire by painting a new reality. And then and only then, you can justify their decision with the features of what it is that you offer. Well, our product is better because of this feature and that feature and this feature and that feature, but you can't lead with features. And that's why so many people are struggling to make sales in their businesses. So if you would like to know not only how to attract the right type of audience to you, the people who already have an existing desire that you can tap into and trigger that emotion so that they're going to be the most likely group of people to buy, click on the link that you see on or around this video. Put in your name and your email address on the next page and I will teach you my exact three-step process that has helped me to generate tens of thousands of leads online. I've generated well over a million dollars in sales online and I've taught this to hundreds, uh, even thousands of students of mine who have gone on to create success with this simple three-step formula. I'd be happy to teach it to you so you can start implementing it in your business right away. Go ahead, click the link that you see right now. What are you waiting for? somewhere on or around this video, putting your name and your email address on the next page. And remember, when you attend live, I will also give you that free Facebook template, which will walk you through uh, really what I use in my Facebook post to, to attract the right type of people to me and to really trigger their desires with the right types of words. All of that is yours for free by simply clicking the link, registering, and attending the free web class. Go ahead and do that now, and I look forward to seeing you on the free class. Take care. Bye.